Hello and welcome back to another episode of the Flat Chat Podcast. I'm Alan, joined by the usual suspects, Callum, Jacob and Heggy. So, obviously, seeing as it... The gun fingers, loving that. Uh, so, seeing as it's International Week, I thought we'd have a little bit of a different podcast. We figured we'd, we've got to you guys and we've got to see if you can ask us some questions. And this little thing called Ask the Flat Chat. We'll also be talking about Scotland as well, heading up to the big game... On Tuesday night, as we record this, up against England, and of course, the big win in Cyprus as well. So, if you enjoy it, leave us a follow on Spotify, of course, we're getting close to 100 followers on there, pretty good. Uh, Apple Music as well, where you get your podcast, and of course, sponsored by Lunch and Toskies, 10% off your order with a flat chat 10. That was beautiful. I love that. So, anyway, we will start with some sort of frequently asked questions. So... When, obviously, we've done like live streams and all that before, we get asked a lot of the same kind of questions. So, we figured this is going to be a one-stop shop. Never ask us anything ever again. <laughs> Speaking of live streams as well, do we say what's happening this week? I think, I think we, we have we to. Do, yeah. yeah, we have to. Bring it on. We, we are doing a watch-along for these two boys' team, and it will be streamed on our YouTube. Yeah. So, make sure you are there. Yeah. It's the first one. If it goes well, we'll do more. Yeah, and make sure you watch it live because there's a good chance it gets taken down because the amount of swearing is going to go <laughs> At Goodison, we've won the last three against them. I hate it. Let's go. I hate Let's it. Go. Yeah. We're, we're due a win. First game of this, first yeah. one of the season against Arsenal. Oh, so anyway, speaking of let's go, let's get on to the questions. So is it frequently asked questions first? So these are the, your sort of frequently yeah. asked questions, the ones we get asked a lot. So number one, main question that we get asked, do we all live together? Start with you, Heggy. The flat chat, do you? The flat chat do not live together. Oh. Two members do though. Do you even live Ooh. in a flat? We used to. We'll get on to that. <laughs> we did used to live in a flat, didn't we? Yeah. So me and Callum have lived together for what, a year and a half? Yeah, months. yeah. And when the flat chart was born, it was in a flat, but we moved out a year into the flat chart, yep. basically. We're now in a house. Unfortunately, the gaff chat doesn't quite work out the same way <laughs> yeah. as the flat chat. So. And so, I'm assuming Ar and Jacob, you guys live together? We do not. We no, do not. sadly not. Sadly not. We, I, I stay with my girlfriend and... Ah, and stays with his. <laughs> Sorry, he's mom. Ah, he's mom, aye. Oh, he's, dog, he's wee dog Rosie as well. That's yeah, she gets it sometimes. What? <laughs> I actually hate you so much. That is but Outrageous. no, I, I, I was going to say, I live just with my mum and as Callum has crudely put it, my dog. <laughs> <laughs> Don't speak about your mum like that. I know, like, that's outrageous. Like a nice woman. <laughs> you, you, you never met her. Shout out to you, man, by the way, if you're <laughs> So, right. anyway, that was a rather uh, crude answer, but a good answer. I'll take away the question too, then. Yeah, please do. Okay, so the second one of the questions that's frequently asked is, is going to be, how did you all meet? That's a nice wee one, a wee romantic one. Will we start here? Uh, we'll we were start. First. We were first to know each other. We yeah. went to the same high school, so what was that? 13 years ago, we'd have yeah, met. Wow. A long 13 years, Jacob. <laughs> Happy 13 years. Yeah, happily married, yeah. A happy 13 years <laughs> until Sunday when this watch all happens between <laughs> Arsenal and Everton. We've yeah. actually, I think, got closer since leaving high school, maybe. Yeah, well, I mean, we did we've flat all, chat together. Uh, we've always obviously been in the same yeah. friend group. I got, honestly, did, didn't used to like you. Like, no, I didn't It was a good like 10 that years much. that we didn't like each other. <laughs> Uh, Ten, last, that's, a big, still, that's a big amount. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> I'm pals with Higgy and Aaron. Callum just comes along. <laughs> God, uh, comes along for the he ring. lives here, so I have to live <laughs> No, He's like the house pet. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, we've been with each other 13 years high school. Uh, then, obviously, finished high school. And I met the other two, Aaron and Higgy. We were doing sports science. Yep. Uh, Doesn't even know what degree it was. <laughs> Honestly, still don't really. Uh, it was horrible. And somehow we did all four years. We met through that, I think, quite early on. Yeah, uh, I kind of one of the first days of first year. Can I tell the story of when I first met you? <laughs> this is I mean, a classic and honestly you think Aaron this is, is spot on Aaron so <laughs> Dad the job what help me tell this story I don't even remember what it so is that I, is good you'd, I, I think it was about a weekend and I'd you'd kind of just seen Aaron about because he was about everywhere just popping his head in er- everywhere uh, <laughs> and like I'm just kind of like hello we were meant to go to this like kind of special thing that you go for because it was like the first week it was like a open day and we decided me and my friends thought nah let's get the train up the road early and just, we just couldn't be bothered going this place we had to go to was meant to be like down the road from the uni so we obviously had to leave the uni to go to it so Aaron thought that me and my friend were leaving the uni to walk to the place that we were going to and instead we were just walking to the train station go home 
Aaron Falders about five metres behind all the way to the train station <laughs> and then finally realised that's the wrong place when we got on the train. <laughs> Honestly, I'm surprised he didn't get on. I it would have been hilarious. I but didn't know Aaron at this point. It was just some random guy following us about. I generally don't remember this story but I'm quite, I'm quite glad we were on it. It was so good but you looked and you're like oh no and we felt really bad and Blair, Blair obviously a name dropped there the friend I was with felt so bad he got on the train got off at the next stop and got back on the train back uh, just to go as well and I was like I'm, I think, not, I'm not doing that I think that paints him in the worst the worst light yeah. that's, that's a nice that's a nice thing to do it was me I was being a bit of a but he wasn't even it was just weird I was going up the road right. but uh, that's when I it, it, it was first year of uni I'm, I was a wee lost boy that's all it was you were but it was, was, it was a lot really... of first year of uni that epitomises arm for me man Honestly. that's a podcast in itself <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we've right? got a lot yeah. of Aaron stories oh, hi. I mean, I, I mean, if you want to see that, then yeah. if you're willing to share, I mean, I shared that one there, but that was my my story. Like, like, that's both, a tame story. Compared yeah, to oh, yeah, yeah. There's oh. there's numerous that if there's comments asking, then we'll do. it. Yeah, we'll do like, probably will be comments. Do we say asking. a like goal, and uh, then we'll do it. Seventy five yeah. likes. They are. Like, what do they call? Hey, 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 hey. hundred and fifty likes. Come on. Yeah. I mean, make it worth the while. Call 100. 100. Go 100. Okay. So right, the, the Aaron pod will be done. <laughs> if it's 100, 100 likes. 100 likes. Question 3, Jacob. I forgot we were doing this. <laughs> Question number 3. How did you come up... Oh, it's awkward that it's me answering this one. How did you come up with a name and why did we start? Just quickly, I wasn't here at the start, so I don't know. Yeah, I just said flat chat, didn't I? And we all just went, that kind of works, but... We I mean, actually sat for an hour yeah. trying to come up with a name. All the names were horrible and we thought flat chat was the... Was Probably the best one. Really. Best one of a bad bunch, but it's stuck, so hasn't it? It has stuck. It just... Because it, it, kind of, it rhymes. Yeah, because it rhymes, yeah. And why it did we come up with that? Me and Callum actually came up with the idea first. Sorry, Anne, but we did. I mean, he's dead. Um, but used to love Sharky Does Sports and we thought we yeah. could do what they're doing. Yeah, That's it's, literally yeah. all it was. It was SDS, we absolutely loved it. We'd sit there and do all of our drafts and thought, why not just put ourselves on camera? And then obviously we got Aaron involved too. You were trying to do some Celtic stuff, weren't you? Yeah, time? basically I'd, I'd done like video creation like content stuff here and there, but it was never anything kind of serious more mm. than the hobby. It was only really when these guys kind of asked us for a little bit of help that I yeah. kind of joined on board. And then uh, Jacob, after four videos, decided he wanted a piece of I, 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 I saw them on YouTube somehow. <laughs> they didn't tell us they'd done it. Best pals with them for years. Best pa- Whoa, you 13 <laughs> years, me and Calvin. <laughs> Three other. years? You say he's never I didn't tell me about <laughs> it and I just suddenly saw it and I was like, Absolutely not. What yeah. did you think? I want a slice of that cake. What was the first thing you thought of when you heard about it or saw the flat chat? I just right up my street. Uh, you, you've, uh, all, you've always said uh, you wanted to do stuff like that. Definitely. Yeah, yeah. Fair enough. I've watched YouTube and all that for years. Uh, yeah. Get I, me th- in it. I think we've all kind of watched football content to a certain extent where we thought, yeah, we could definitely do yeah. that. Even like, just basic stuff like the side yeah. men, obviously Chris Indy, all that kind of guys. Like you, You've naturally thought it. I thought it as well. Obviously, never doing anything serious up until this. Adam's point. hero is Cal the Dragon. <laughs> my my hero is you know, you know what that's for the Adam pod. You're, 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 oh, you're, te- Aaron, you are teasing them. Yeah, you've got to. This is, oh, this like is all part of the game. Yeah. There you go. Is, <laughs> next question, Hagen. Why does Callum support oh. Arsenal? Aaron support Leeds, and Jacob support Everton. And you with Man City or? Oh, he is a wee bit of a City fan. Definitely, tiny bit. I do like Man City. I like you a lot of English teams. You can't not, can you, really, at the moment? Yeah. They're just that good, aren't they? I hate, them, I hate them right now in the title race. But. Well, we start with Jacob. We'll go, go down the uh, Yeah, a lot of my family from Liverpool, they've got season tickets. It's not really exciting. Easy, I, I, easy. I wouldn't choose it, obviously, with her. No, I've been, no. I think I've been supporting them since about 2012, like, properly. Yeah. So the Fellaini season where he scored a lot of goals... That was my first season watching. Mm. We finished sixth, and it was good to watch. You were good back then. It's fell apart Moises. since. Yeah. David, David Moyes. Moyes. Uh, uh, Moyes. It was like Moyes' last season, basically. So I was like fully into this good side. Yeah. Scottish manager as yeah, well. Yeah, what kind of just, it, it kind of works. It you've had a lot of links as well. Like we are. Uh, was Naismith not just there's been over? loads? Yeah, yeah. That was uh, that was like 2012, 2013. Yeah. Yeah. Everton are a very Scottish English club. Uh, I, I, can, I, can see it. I can see it. I love it. I, like I don't it. like them though, but I can see it. I hope they get relegated, but I, Aye, I hope they're going. <laughs> anyway, Callum, uh, uh, Arsenal. Well, usually you just think I'd support a Scottish team, but I grew up. My dad wasn't keen on me supporting Rangers or Celtic because he was a Dundee United fan. <laughs> Weird enough as is, <laughs> um, but he wasn't that into them either because they were so bad. So he kind of just just followed Premier League football, and I decided that I would try and support Dundee United a wee bit. Uh, and then name, started making. Then you grew up. Name two current Dundee United players. No. Um, <laughs> <laughs> respect, respect, respect. No, 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 no. Uh, <laughs> no, 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 no. 
And then, yeah, I, we start obviously collecting match attacks, and I realised that Arsenal had a manager called Arsene Wenger, and I thought that was magic. I really did. Were you the kid that <laughs> thought that Arsene Wenger was what Arsenal was named I, after? I, 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 it was the first thought was that. I genuinely remember doing that. I was in the playground. That's weird. On his own. On my own. <laughs> we shadow in the corner. Calumny me. The match attacks were his friends. Yeah. And <laughs> I, I really liked Arsenal. I watched them play a game of football, and they played against Chelsea, who I, I thought I was going to like. And I watched the game and Chelsea won the game. I was like, no, nah, I preferred the team that they've just been. Okay, so and it was Arsenal and I just, I followed them ever since. I think it was about 08, 08, 08 that would have been. What could have been? You could have ended up being a like young kipper on TikTok oh, yeah, no. as well. No, about no, 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 no. I could, I could be doing that. <laughs> Leeds. Uh, Leeds, it's a bit of a funny story in that as well. So, my, I was going to say, my uncle and I went down to Manchester when I was young. I don't know what it was, I think it was for a holiday or something like that. It's still a bit foggy in my memory. Uh, whilst I was down there... Leeds were playing obviously Celtic in a testimonial. It was Gary Kelly. Spartan boy both teams that played against <laughs> no, each other. I initially came down supporting Celtic, but obviously, I, you know, it's one of those things. You end up leaving, you go, well, I like Leeds, are alright. They're, they're not in the same league, so it's kind of like, it's a bit fair. They're not in the same league as Everton or Arsenal either, Leeds. <laughs> You'll be in the same league as us in a few months, so don't you start. I don't uh, know if we're going League One, we don't drop twice. <laughs> <laughs> what makes you think we're dropping? Uh, so, but anyway, no, I just kind of. Kept up with them from there and there about. Went to Ellen Road last year. Got a picture outside there. Yeah. What nice stadium that as well. So are you going to do the announcement now that you're now an Arsenal fan? Or is that here or <laughs> on the live stream? <laughs> on, on the live stream. I'm battering both of you on Sunday. You will see. I'm telling you, Ars- uh, Aaron and I watched the Arsenal United game last week, and I think Ar- Aaron celebrated more than I did. Uh, it, was, it was a true bonding moment. It was. It was great. We were jumping about, hugging. It was brilliant. Nah, that's not definitely celebrated. It was absolutely smashing. But no, to be fair, like in terms of English football, I've never really had a proper preference I'm yeah. similar to Hege, like, I mean some like, people I just like the teams I like some people do say in the comments does Aaron watch English football mm. I do watch English football I've seen just football <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I was going to say contrary to popular belief I do actually like, I watch quite a lot I watch quite a lot Hell, you famously watched 40 Serie A games a season you said that not before. a season in total or was it <laughs> no <laughs> way I was going to say because the, there's only 38 games a season I, mean, I watched two in one weekend I they're not all on at the same time there's also there's not 38 games a season the, for like, for total, in, in total, you could watch more than forty. Uh, That's what Hager just said. You, you need right, never mind. Never mind. <laughs> Ignore me. Right. Okay. Ignore so, but me. yeah, Leeds just kind of sort of yeah. gravitated to when I was younger. So anyway, f- number five, of course, we've kind of went on to the whole uni thing. So like, what we did at uni, I think. we oh. kind of touched on that. We've not touched on animal sports science for us, Jacob. Uh, I'm halfway through studying to be a primary teacher. You poor thing. So. Mm. That's me. That's why he's here, getting practice work on the children. Honestly, <laughs> honestly. Has the, I was gonna say, has to work with Cal on a regular basis. And me, and me. Yeah, I know. I, I was thinking, I, I was more about you there. But yeah, before, I, I'm a bit of a child. I was well. gonna say before you start putting it on to me, I know. Yeah. But anyway, uh, next one: jobs. What are our occupations, boys? So unfortunately, this isn't what we do for a living yet. Mm. Um, but <laughs> we'll touch on that later. We'll Maybe. touch on that later. So, boys, what is it you guys do? We'll go around the table. Uh, I work in a factory. That's all I'll say. Uh, I don't want to go too niche so you don't turn But the niche of the best. Uh, I'm a lifeguard, but also obviously studying. Yeah. David Hasselhoff. I be. would try and avoid telling you, but I'm pretty much going to turn up at your door. I'm an Amazon, <laughs> <laughs> I'm an Amazon driver. <laughs> that is so bad. I mean, it's just it's like I've had people come up, I've gone to the door. So, and just, to that, make, so. just to make you aware, Cal has told you he's going to turn up at your door. He's going to do it. That's basically what you've said. <laughs> I've, yes, said that. I've said that. <laughs> and uh, I work in retail, I work in a shop. And again, that is, uh, that's all I'll say on the matter. Some yeah. people have a. Uh, Wrongly guessed whereabouts I work in TikTok comments before. They've said Wilco's and Hamilton a lot, but yeah. that's just not right. Uh, hey, listen, rest in peace. <laughs> <laughs> They're going for a bad time at the moment, as okay. I'm sure you've ever heard. Next question. Uh, our age, we're all 25. Yeah, simple. simple. That was easy. I am the youngest, but we but are. But we're all, we're all like about two months apart. Two yeah, months apart. Ah, it's like very yeah. close. Four months yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You're the baby, aren't you, Jacob? Um, yeah, we've all just turned 25, so. Yeah. Next anyway, one. Next one, we have height. Yep. That should be a contentious one. Right. Uh, the person that we're talking about can't comment. It's just because Alan, you are five foot five, six. Yeah. Oh, I think you're going to bam up and say no, five, three again. I, I was going to say, no, no, no. I, I, I agree with that. I'm five, I think it's five, six. Five, five, six. Five, I think six. it's close to five, six. Yeah, yeah. Maybe. We'll it's give you five, five six. six. Let's not we'll give you five, it. six. It's five, six. And then next up in height is me. I think I'm about five, nine. Yeah, maybe a wee bit over that. I he's know. he's so slim, so it's hard. Yeah. You think you think he's so tall. And he's got such a long torso. So when he's sitting, you think he's taller. <laughs> so he stands. He is. Yeah. You basically call him lanky. Yeah. That's what you've done. 
I think Callum's about six foot one. Yeah, I think we're both six foot one. I'd say we're very similar. Yeah, yeah. Very similar. But I get I think my posture's a bit poor. And I'm also but also sometimes because I'm quite lanky as well. You I'm are very lanky. lanky. Could be. Yeah. So like when Callum plays football, he's got the world's longest legs, but actually yeah. mine are probably the same length. Yeah, I, like people call me a gazelle or giraffe, but Zidane. Zidane was. did yeah, that was through the hero. <laughs> yeah. So six one, six one, five nine, and five six. Lovely. Lovely. Jacob, nice next week. up we will go for this is quite an exciting one. Who edits the videos? And who runs your social media? So we'll start with just the edits. We'll start with the TikToks. Hey, what have you got to say? So TikToks, whoever is behind the camera edits the video, typically. Yeah. Unless yeah. it's... I think maybe two or three videos in the history haven't been that. Yeah, and it's, there's a few changes here. And obviously there's yeah. like there's been one week when I've had to do his videos. Yeah. Yeah. And if there's a collaboration, like that word. So like today, I was behind the camera and it was with Lewis Bowden. Hey, edited that because he does all the collabs. collabs. Yeah. yeah. Uh, As for YouTube... Peggy has edited the majority. vast majority. I'm at one edit. Aaron's done maybe a couple, has he? Three or four. He's doing this week, so. And he's doing this one as yep. well. And then I'll be next. Cam will do it at some point. Yeah, I need to learn better. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Better. Social media is just everyone. Yeah, like, just whoever. Whoever, if you message us, there is like a 25% equal chance that who is, who is going to reply and we don't say either. Mm. It's just as though there's an admin, but it's just yeah. us. Uh, it, some, sometimes we might say our name though. Like, it depends on what you've asked. Yeah, like someone yeah. said something about Everton, I replied and then said it was. Yeah. Someone me. called me out. Yeah. I, I gave him a. Deal. Yeah, someone has said. Like, <laughs> someone has said in the fantasy, which by the way, shout out to all those on the Toskies League. Love um, it. said like, oh, I bet I could beat Aaron. Then I will obviously add on and say, yeah, you're probably right. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, it's everybody. Yeah, it's everything. Right, next one. Where do we live? Now that's a secret we'll never tell. We yeah. live in Glasgow and <laughs> the surrounding areas. <laughs> I cringe every time we say it, but we do. It's the most accurate descriptor that yeah. is. Yeah. They obviously don't want to say exactly yeah. where we live. Because we all, I mean, we all live around Glasgow as well. It's not like we all live in the same area, you yeah. know. Jake, you've got quite a trip. I have to travel yeah, yeah, yeah. 20, 25 minutes every Sunday. Yeah. But now you know, you know where <laughs> Jacob lives compared to Tofskis and now you know where we live compared to Jacob so, so there's, there's like a 25 minute radius you can go around there <laughs> so on Jacob's behalf I would like to announce a meet and greet that he will be doing at <laughs> Tofskis no, do not come we in. actually had an instant the other day where people saw us at our house please if you see us at our house don't chap the door <laughs> Like, I can't believe you have to Callum, say that. Callum's going to chap your door because he uh, works for Amazon. If you but, see us out and about, jump, to be fair, I usually just leave the parcel at the door and don't knock it. Just run. Yeah. <laughs> knock and run, chapping, playing chapping. Yeah, close uh, to losing my job for that. So uh, <laughs> I'm going to lose my job. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, but if you see us out in public, obviously come up and speak to us. Yeah. yeah. Get a photo if you want. Just don't come to our house. That's, that's all. Uh, that is. I feel like that's a fair thing. To yeah. Ask. Yeah. If you're desperate to do meet and greets, I'm sure we'll do it at some yeah. point. Yeah, when, I was once there's it, more than three yeah. people wanting to yeah. see us. <laughs> Aye, yeah, much further than that. Yeah. Yeah. So, so that's you. all the frequently asked questions. We'll have a wee bit of an interview. We'll come back to the questions in a bit. Uh, but we have, to, we have to talk about the greatest national team in the world. And that is yeah, solid. we do. Me and Calma representing... You two kind of kind of let us How old is this kit? Do you think this is the I think that's 96. 96. Yeah. 96 yeah. yeah. I think 96 yeah. is a really I good shirt. So many people wear this one. Yeah. Oh, nice we will be representing Scotland on Tuesday night when we play England and inevitably beat them. But we'll, well, we'll, they're, we'll, they're watching this having seen us beat them. Of course. So they're, uh, isn't that correct? <laughs> did, you, did you see John McGinn's go up? Oh, <laughs> can't believe in Ketty has missed penalty as well. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe they then got a retake by VAR. They then got Saka on it and he missed the penalty as well. 23 minutes in, subbing Ramsdale off just because he was rubbish. <laughs> <laughs> they bring on Jordan Pickford and it go, hits off his back of his head and goes in for the fifth goal of the day. Too What's far. the odds and all that happening? Pretty high. <laughs> Very high. 10,000 to 1. <laughs> hey, listen, I'd take a punt on the power. Like, Ramsdale so. subbed in 23 minutes just for being rubbish. It's 10,000 to 1 on its own. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I was going to say, odd, starting. I was going to say, odds on Southgate being sacked midway through the game. <laughs> they just didn't. So many people want him sacked because of this. I know, the way but they're enough talking about our oh, league beating. Let's talk about Oh, yeah, yeah, done with that. Yeah, so right. they, yeah, they, he's going to go. We but are, are going to go to the Euros. Oh, but 100 oh, yeah. no, 99.63% sure. It goal. is mental. We could be the first team to go. But as How, in Germany. Just think about we've grown up and we've just been so ten years so ago. Poor. Ten years ago, almost to the month, we were the first team to not qualify for the World Cup. In twenty fourteen, yeah. yeah six games in we could only we only had two, two points. points. Yeah. yeah. And that's it, we couldn't qualify. How we've turned it around is mental. In f- in fairness, but that's down I think first of all, a Steve Clark getting the best at the Scotland side. That system that he employs just Works. It's, it's, 
just it, does work. It's so defensive, but just he works so well, He also kind of changes how he does it. Yeah. He's now got four unbelievable centre mids and plays all four of them, but you don't think it's too congested in the yeah. middle because they all can just kind of yeah. do exactly. everything. Tomney was playing like a right forward. Mm. He also he played as a right centre half a couple of years ago. He yeah. can do it all. And of yeah. course, speaking of, we could be seeing two new recruits coming in from Newcastle, Elliot Anderson and Harvey Barnes. That's, they both would be massive. They would be huge. Really good. Do so you want me to be controversial here? I don't think they start. I, I said, we were talking about this actually, I said the same thing, where does he play? Because Barnes is a winger, we don't I play a winger, a typical winger. Barnes is a very, very good super sub, something yeah. we don't have. Yeah. No, we don't. Right now, our subs are Christie and Armstrong, and both Barnes and, and uh, Anderson. 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 Yeah, he's so often known as Elliot Anderson, it's weird just him being Anderson, are just levels above. I yeah. think McGinn is better than Barnes in that position. For Scotland. For Scotland. Yeah, yeah, yeah. McGinn has not put a foot wrong. And I think the Tommy is better as well. For yeah, Scotland. Better, yeah. I think Scott, this Scotland team is just is it is so good to what we used to have, and I, I just think it is a top top striker away and a top top centre half away from being out an incredibly good team. I was going to say that kind of. Like- I actually like controversial here. Uh, think I would rather a right back than a centre half. You just want to complete I, the full. I think. Absolutely. I think that. Uh, I think Parsons ha- average. And I think Hickey. that Hickey doesn't offer anything. I don't know about that. I, th- no, I, I think, think Hickey's been good. I think Hickey, it's harder to improve Hickey than it is to improve Portis. Oh, Portis, yeah. is, Portis I think, has been probably the most improved performer. He yeah. is yeah. But I, I think that we have some okay centre-halves. Hendry's decent and all that, but I think if you had a top centre-half next to them, any really one mean. of them would be so much better. But I also think saying. all three of them are playing... Outstanding. Exactly. The, they've not like put Tierney a works as a left centre. No, no, yeah, no, I wouldn't be Tierney that would be replaced. It oh, would be it would be a top centre half and maybe you would pay port a Hendry probably would be the yeah. other one, wouldn't he? You know what? Really good I'm there. gonna put my name to this take and if it's wrong, oh dear. it's wrong. But not only do I think Scotland's first of all qualify, I think we get out of the group and get to the knockout stages. I'm more confident this year. I, I think it's all about your group. But I I does it every chance yeah. to be a pot I one do. team. A pot one team. I, I don't think we will be part one because I think Spain might overtake us but I think there's a good chance we could be part two or three I, well, I think we're definitely part two I think there's every chance because we could do part one it's only, it, it's only one or two of the best second place teams can be yeah. part two if isn't we, it if we can yeah. draw away in Spain I said just go beat them. just really really uh, annoy I, I, think we can, I think we can beat them I oh, definitely think we can, we can 100% beat them. we can beat them I know obviously they've played as well they played Georgia they Trounced them. Funnily enough, it was raining, so uh, <laughs> that's George's crypt tonight. Uh, but I don't see any reason why we can't go a yeah. uh, Madrid and that as well and go and beat them. Sit deep in counter attack. 100%. Exactly. Right. Scotland have proven so good at um, that. Do um, you think there is any hiccups left in the group stages where you think that game's a bit trickier than what I here? think? We're looking- I think our last four games are four tricky. Is it four? I yeah. think Norway at home. Three games, sorry. Norway I think our last fine. three games are tricky right. games, and if we were having to rely on them, I'd be like, Ooh, It's three away, isn't it now? No, two away, and it's then Norway at home. Right, okay. So, no, Norway at home is an okay game. I, I saw that. that one as thinking, final game of the group. That's a game of the group qualifies. decider. That's what I thought. And instead, we are running away with it. Get it right up you. I was going to say, one of only three teams now that uh, have perfect records yes. in the tournament. Who else is it? France? France, France and Portugal. Not Portugal. England. Portugal's only uh, really played four, though, so it's not right. the same. Aye, no, that's good. They've got less teams in their group, though, don't they? Yeah, I think they do. Have you seen, us, five. Five. Have you seen that yeah, group? The, saw, yeah. Have you seen the Kazakhstan group? Yeah. Well, they're, they're second right now with Denmark, Finland and Northern Ireland. What is Northern that? Ireland, everyone was so happy with that group, even though they were a pot four they're, or pot five side. Fourth or fifth. And they've been abysmal. Yeah. But yeah, they played Kazakhstan today. Couldn't tell you the score. One well, 0 no, Kazakhstan. Yeah. <laughs> Fair enough. This man, this man knows. Kazakhstan's beat them twice. <laughs> Kazakhstan's in the hold on thirteen. Kazakhstan points. beat us three now. And that was the lowest of the low. No, no, was the Kazakhstan are on about thirteen. It was only a few points. years ago as well. If they came, to, uh, it was Sarah, It was Alex McLeish's. Mm, also, if we're, taking, if we're taking a look at obviously obscure nations that might qualify, Luxembourg. What are they doing? There? What are they doing actually? I think they're they're fucking the group, and I think they're tied on points we sent. Very impressive. That's how we quit look before we move on. So we'll have a look. Obviously, Group A, you know, Scotland are the biggest footballing nation in the world, and we are. Oh, yeah. Kazakhstan on twelve points. So are Finland, Denmark, and Slovenia on thirteen. Oh. All played the same games. And then, of course, Portugal's group, Slovenia are there. Then you've got Luxembourg on ten points. I was looking at Luxembourg. Slovakia. Luxembourg's team. Looks every, good. Every single player plays in the top top division. Every single one of them. 
It's getting very close to league like that for Scotland because look at the amount of Premier Aye. League players. And I think that's why we're doing as well. Yeah. It definitely is a massive thing. I, but I do think like Gunn and Porteous both don't just off the top of my head. I wouldn't say they're really weak links. Yeah, that's true. And Especially I, I, not Angus Gunn. He's yeah, been, Angus Gunn's really good. I do think also that the, the, yeah, we've already mentioned that the Clark stuff has done great, but he's done really well to use the the strengths of the squad. Yeah, he's managed to get everyone we want in the team playing. Yeah, it's, like it's worked well. It's also not an old side. Yeah, it's quite a young team. I think is. Uh, is any of them in the thirties? McGregor, that's it. He is thirty. Like, there you go. Cal McGregor, who's going to be able to play for another yeah. ten years. Wobble so will be pushing. For yeah, it, but he's definitely not thirty. I yeah. don't think. Yeah, it's literally all Premier League players and Celtic's captain, like and Porteous. And Porteous, yeah, yeah. And Norwich's goalkeeper. Yeah, but it's decent. Aren't that's it? very good. Very and good. potential two Newcastle. But it's not just Premier League players. It's Villa's captain. It's a Man U mm-hmm. player. It's a Brighton oh, player oh, who excellent. So uh, Liverpool. Yeah, they're also, like starting full bad. Yeah, it's yeah. top tier. Also, let's be honest, that Man United player could have very easily been a Bayern Munich player because and they were interested. They were interested. As a six. Does anyone watch McTominay? It was Mourinho that He's a white 10. Him. He's a white 10. Mm. Anyway. <laughs> Mourinho saw he was a tall player and thought, I'm going to play him CDM to instead fair, of Fellaini. To fair, Clark's played him centre back, but also now right winger. Clark's right basically forward. never played him as a six though. Yeah. Anyway. yeah, because McGregor and Gilmore are yeah. better. Aye. Yeah, yeah, 100%. Even, even McGinn in the midfield as well. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, I know this is coming out obviously after the game, but can we get maybe some quick score predictions for the England game? The dealers are going to look really clever yeah. or silly here. I'm going to go 2 1 Scotland, but I don't think England play their strongest 11. I, I actually I echo what you've just said there. I'm just going to go 2 1. I agree that they'll play in Ketty and stuff, you'll get his caps, and I think we'll win 2 1. Jacob? I think this means more to us than them. Um, yeah, I agree with that. It definitely well. does. It's yeah. our anniversary match, yeah. if that makes sense. And also, they don't do care as much think... about us, unfortunately. I mean, they should. They're a league B side. Although, yeah. I suppose when we, were, when we were rubbish, we didn't yeah. care about the Francis yeah. and the they, Portugal they, and the world. They so. dislike us because we get rowdy about them. If That's really what it is. You don't care about teams that are that much better than you. <laughs> uh, so, why do we care about England? I right think then? it potentially could be 2 all, same as last time, but I would. Honestly, kill for a win. Oh, yeah. You know what? I'm going to be the boldest of all of you here. 4 0. I, I, I wish. I think it's going to be 2 0 Scotland, and I think I it's going to come out straight afterwards that there's going to be there's been a draw in Norway and Georgia, and we qualify. <laughs> that's why That's why Oh, Harry, you're teasing if me. You could write that script. If that could happen, I'm, Who's meant, got I'm meant to be in work at 6 a.m. Wednesday. I'll tell you right now, that's not happening. I'm the Peter Drury of predictions, man. <laughs> a true romanticist. You know oh, what? I, that it. is what football is all about the romance yeah. of the game. I say we end the Scottish chat on that because that is the best. Yeah, get, get exactly. into the, 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 the so, niche questions. Okay, so we've obviously we've asked you guys on Instagram at Flat Chat Official if you're interested. Yeah, so if you want to follow. ask, you've got to check it out and follow us. We right. only ask questions to you guys on Insta, so. So we will start off with our first question, and it's a question for me, so rather fitting. We have Cal underscore WWFC, so we're assuming you're a Wolves fan. Would Aaron support Rangers or never walk again? Ooh. Could be Wickham fan, though. Could be Wickham fan. Ah, Wicky Wanderers. Uh, to answer... Or Wishy Wanderers. Or Wishy Wickham Wanderers. <laughs> uh, oh no, that would be WWW, of course, then you go website. Um... <laughs> <laughs> so anyway that was a real Martin Goldbridge moment so there. much there <laughs> fully <laughs> just, just process what's it. your answer uh, I would be taking the chainsaw to my legs wow. and I would I would be never genuinely I, want, I, would, I, I don't actually want someone to give you that would that you rather horrible. support Spurs let's do it for all of us yeah exactly let's, let's go to the table and we'll do the we'll I'll do lose that. my legs as well sorry no chance respect yeah. you know respect. My, my, my health and well being is worth 100%. more than football you can get perspective. Mainly right? because I want to keep playing. Yeah, you know what? To be fair, if I probably end the moment, couldn't walk. you probably you would you would just have of to take you it. Would. You Honestly, I would. You know, I probably wouldn't sports where I just not follow football. No, but you have to. That's no, you have to follow. Well, listen, what you do is because we're on public record, you show have one public video in the Spurs shirt, and then you delete the whole channel, and then it's never seen again. So there you go. It's horrible, but you probably just would have to. Yeah. Sports I mean, sports. I mean, you mean, start doing this round the house, thinking you're the Charleston and all sorts. You do that anyway. <laughs> I don't hate I don't hate him. Uh, right, fair. right. Next question. We've got Dan Burchell and he said this is a Beezer, this oh, one. Beezer. Who are you taking in your pri- in their prime? Your prime. Yeah. Where is your prime? prime? Back in those festival days, man, <laughs> unbelievable. Gareth Bale, Neymar, Hazard, Salah. We've all to rank them in order. Ooh. So in their prime. I'll tell you mine first. Okay. Yeah, go for I'm going to disagree with him. I'll be there. Yeah, I'll be well. In the prime, the most unplayable player there is Gareth Bale. I agree with that. Then it's Hazard. Then it's Neymar. Then it's Salah. Right, Aaron. What's your four? Uh, mine would be Bale number one. I think I would put 
Neymar 2. I would put Salah 3. And I would put Hazard 4. You want to go next? I'll go next if you want. Okay. Uh, I'm going to take the best player out of the four, Neymar. Then I'm going to take the second best player, Salah. I prefer watching Bale. I don't know if he was better than Hazard, but I'm going to say Bale then Hazard. Okay. okay. I I think that Hazard's last. So I that's the Hazard only last. easy decision for me. Yeah, I mean, last. unbelievable football. I just think the others are just they're just, goal machines. Yeah. The other ones. Like so, he's had too many sort of bad seasons. Yeah. There, but really that's his prime. That's just yeah. about their, their I know that's his prime. Oh, that's their peak. peak. I was, I was I, get, even in his peak, I think he was too injured. Yeah. I'm going to take. I'm going to take. That's not what prime means. Prime means their <laughs> best. The the best version of them. Yeah. Yeah, but even then, I still think. Yeah. Anyway, can I can I get my answer? Neymar, Bale, Salah, Hazard. I think uh, that's fair. That's fair. So a bit of disagreement going on in the team. Oh, we were never going to fully. No, of course, of course not. We've also not seen every game of all four. I I, I like your all. But just I think Neymar just yeah was part of the best team was an integral part of it. And it's just scored. He was also the closest so thing to what we thought what Ronaldo Messi at yeah. points as well. Yeah. He was always the he was always the number yeah. three in that. The others the never were that. You like would never, never have said no. anything were number three. In I, would, I, would, I, th- I think Bale and Salah in their prime are clearing shooting the number two. Yeah, yeah, goal scorers. But I think Bale is the best physically yeah. as well. I think, I think numbers though is yeah. probably Bale's just all as round. Yeah. Bale's all round was unbelievable. Is Neymar's numbers like uh, influenced though because he played with Messi in his prime? Perhaps. Fair, also, Bale also played with Ronaldo. Does his numbers come down though because he was playing with Messi? Yeah, he no, never because got he gets many, more assists. But he never got as many penalties. Less goals stuff. as well, yeah. more penalties. He would have taken penalties. Because yeah. yeah. Salah's had a lot of penalties. Liverpool dives, Salah dies. Yeah. <laughs> not, not biased in any way. He's, he's the most effective out of the world, oh, I think. Who's, I think so. who's the most talented? Neymar and Hazard Neymar. are more talented footballers Neymar. than the other two. Hazard is just unfortunate he's lazy. He's not effective enough. He if really is. If you're isn't. playing tomorrow and they're all at their peak, you're picking who? Bale. Bale. 100%. Gareth Bale. It's not even close. Neymar and then it's Bale. Yeah, yeah. I think Neymar. Neymar just. But, I think, so, yeah. but Bale, Salah Neymar. just gets you going. Yeah, he does. If it was FPL and it was the four of them, I'm putting Salah <laughs> on my team. That's <laughs> always about FPL at this point as well. Can I that coming from someone who's like third last in their yeah. sort of friends? Like. I'll go into another question here. Do we drive you by drive me Adam Black? <laughs> So, drive, yes, I do drive. We all drive. We, we all, all drive, drive, yeah. <laughs> I'm always kind of going round the table and saying, no, oh, do you drive? We all drive. We all drive cars. Yeah. And each other up the wall, as Howard yes. says. Jacob? Uh, from Peaking to Success, who I think do a podcast as well. They are another podcast. Uh, five aside team, we're four. Of, we're the four. Who is your fifth player? That is tough. Do we do a content creator? Or do you do a content creator, a content creator and then a nice. footballer? So Okay, so I, I, I would like to go first on this one. I on think. you go. My content creator would be Chris Hindy for that one. I think that's a fairly strong... Where are, you, where are we all playing your five aside? So obviously I'm in goal. Yeah. Okay. So we don't need I, a keeper, that's good. I was going to say I am getting him back in defence because contract... I've never done that in fives. You yeah. kind of did. You would, but you get the ball and drive forward with it. I'd yeah. do similar things though. Yeah, we'd we say quite similar. We'd play yeah. Bobby as midfielders, wouldn't we? I yeah. would have you actually a striker because you've got a strike on you. To be mm. fair, I'd put you up front as well. And I would have you next to your fellow Arsenal fan, Chris Indy, in the midfield. I don't mind. I don't Little and large in the middle. I don't hate it. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, what professional would you take on? Uh, my professional. Ooh, I mean, you'd f- I was going to say I would uh, punt my, if I could punt myself out a goal and get an actual goalkeeper. I think would be all right. Uh, but for me, my professional would be. We'll do the content creators for us, and you think. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Go, you go first. You okay, go. Um, I'll come back to that. Content creator, I quite like what you said there. Uh, I will go for Theo Baker with without the dodgy hat. Get I, I think in a game of actual fives, you would be the best. And like my it. actual player, I'd love to say Messi just to play with him, but he's just going to be too... Will he be too lazy? He's just that good though, isn't he? What does it I want Bernard, I want, I want Bernard. You give him it, he skins one, he scores. <laughs> he, he, he won a World Cup by walking about on the pitch for nine minutes. Yeah, no, that's fair enough. I want Bernard, Bernardo Silva, and I would put you at the back, Jacob, and me and him in midfield, and I'd head up top. I like it. Uh, content creator, I'm stuck between a couple, but I think just due to his performance on Sunday, I might go angry, Ginge. 
Put oh. him at the back, no one's getting past him. You're just, he might start going, United, United, but yeah. That's annoying, because that was my answer. Well, oh, I took it, so well done. Probably. Okay, so... So speed, I'd, then speed. I'd, I'd then have me in the middle, and I'd put those two up front next to each other, and, you know, that can be the Crouch and Defoe partnership. Fair enough. And as a pro, I would probably take, I just think no one getting past him, I'd take John Stones. Oh. Seven and a half, just can't get past him. I was going to say... Good at football as well. thought about my pro. Ah, well, let, 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 let me... F- okay, let me... Come back to you. Let me cook, let me cook. Let me cook. I would have Angry Ginge at the back, Jacob in midfield. Uh, a pro player, I would have Messi in midfield and move Jacob back. Would you just actually have the three of us sit at the side, have Aaron in goal and just say Messi on your goal? Aye. Like, <laughs> we want to just right watch. Right. Much chance. Hey, listen, I get to sit at the pitch and play with Messi and he can just do all the work at his game. But who is the real goal? That's the question. <laughs> and who's your pick? Le- your I mean, to answer your first question, Lena Messi. Uh, second, second one... Um, you know what I'd move you back into midfield and I'd get big boy Haaland just aim for him <laughs> Messi <laughs> and Haaland <laughs> but if he's pro the first question is who's the goal the first yeah. question the who the goal is is Messi it's to get Haaland in fives yeah fair. He, to be fair I think his running is underrated I think he'd work hard yeah. right. I think definitely would Jack McCash says yes. favourite club I think we all know that by now do you want to save yours Celtic Arsenal Rangers Rangers yeah there you go. Nice and easy. Uh, so we have Kieran Hope, 16. And, and James Rye. And James Rye, of course. How far do we think the flat chat can go and would it ever be something that we would consider doing as a real jobs? Well, wow. I think if we just did football content like we do, there is a potential ceiling. But I think... The content we make would be easily adapted into Other non-football things. way in the future, yeah. which would, which would be more like the could, sidemen's content. Could things like watch-alongs maybe help as well, and that would stay in, within football? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. So obviously, again, look out for that next week. Yeah. Hopefully, that'll be a banger for us. But doing football for the foreseeable for, uh, future, I would say. Yeah. Uh, how far can it go? As, as far as, as the fans so Basically, it, that's up to you guys. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, essentially. Yeah, definitely. And We'd all love to do it as a job. Yeah, 100%. That's that's the dream, isn't it, really? But there is four of us, so we need to make four times more money than other people do if they want to make it a job, essentially. Yeah, essentially. So that's as far, again, as you guys take it. The sport's been absolutely fantastic as well already. It's like, let's... <laughs> let's let's we have to, I know we have to kind of say that, but as a bit of perspective. It's been fantastic. Yeah. It's been... So help us out. Watch the ads. Don't click skip ads. <laughs> <laughs> or if you've got YouTube Premium, just uh, whatever you do. Well, I don't know what you, you actually get paid for people just having YouTube premium. Yeah, exactly. Uh, oh yeah, that's right. Because because they don't get ads, you could just get paid a flat fee. Yeah, which is more you know, more you know. We've got an upcoming YouTube. Lovely. Uh, I'll go next. It's from our good mate Egg, and he's asked because he's obviously maybe been on nights out with us or other things. Has fame gotten to your head? To all of us. So uh, we'll ask each of us individually, Aaron, oh. has fame gone to you? Have you ever thought, I'm the big man? No, I think we should all answer for that person. Oh, okay. So for Aaron, has fame gone to his head? First maybe? of all, I don't think I'm famous, so I'll let you decide on that. Um, Aaron, I think the fame's got the most to Aaron's head. Interesting. Ooh, what? what makes you what? say Because that? he has the most fame. Yeah. <laughs> That's simply it, isn't it? Yeah, Adam really thought is. he was a TikTok creator on his own for a wee period, didn't he? <laughs> he was making lives be himself doing... He's 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 sung. He did sing as well. To be fair, I did that in conjunction with the flat chat at the same time. So it's not as if I've just decided, all right, guys, I'm off. Catch us after. Goodbye. See, see when you leave your house, do you think there's a chance I get recognised today? Not really, no. No? Uh, No, I was going to say, again, it kind of depends what's happening. See, if I'm going to a football game, then Ah. naturally, you you kind of get more of a... I feel I get recognised more a few months ago than now. Yeah. I had it three Rangers games in a row and stuff like that, and I've not had it the last few... I've not had it that much on nights out compared to before. And tell me, Jacob, are you gutted about that? Raging. Raging. <laughs> I actually have had weird experiences recently. Most of the time we met people was at nightclubs, and so I'd had a few drinks. Still, like, not steaming, but just, like, you're fine. The last few, I've been completely sober, and I've not liked it as much. Yeah. I, yeah, yeah. I've actually didn't think I would, but I've just been, like, almost overwhelmed. It's been weird. It's been a weird thing to kind of experience. I, I've definitely time. been overwhelmed by it. Yeah, but I didn't think I would be because every other time I've took to it like a duck to yeah. water was here. I think Heggy's taking it the easiest and the best. Yeah, he's... All the rest, out of us all anyway. He just takes everything in his stride. Yeah, he, just, he, he just doesn't really care. I just, yeah. I just don't care, to be honest. He doesn't care. Well, if you want to speak to me, just come up yeah. and speak to me. I'm yeah. not going to come up and speak to you, though. Aye, aye, that's fair enough. In fairness, I... Not I, even I, me. I hear Jacob's <laughs> point because obviously... 
it, it it can be overwhelming. I'm I'm naturally quite an overwhelmed person anyway. Like I, again, like I don't mean this to say, or oh, don't come up and speak to me. Like please do. Like if you please do if you do send that to us please, as well. Please speak to me. <laughs> <laughs> please be my friend. <laughs> nah, okay, I've got three friends right here. So <laughs> and they're my only friends. <laughs> <laughs> but no, like again, I can I hear Jacob's point. It is quite an overwhelming thing. But it was just the last couple. It's been weird. No, I've yeah. not. Like, the last That's the first time I've had people play our videos to us. And hearing my voice in someone else's phone was odd. It made it was the first time where I was like, ah, people actually. You just see the number for when you're filming videos. So actually seeing a person was yeah. odd. I've seen a person come up to you and say, oh, you do this, don't you? And that as well. Yeah. Um, again, what do you guys get when you like on the odd chance it's happened? Like nobody actually comes up and says your name. They just say, oh, Flatcher. Uh, I don't know. I've, 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 a lot of time they do. I, I've, I've known for your name. <laughs> oh, we'll, we'll not elaborate on that. No. Oh, we can. My girlfriend literally said your face isn't recognisable. <laughs> oh my it's god! Only your name is. It's quite quite banging. Erin, Erin, it's horrible. <laughs> but nah, it's just it's, no. But it's, it's, sometimes it's really nice though when you get someone come yeah. up to you and ask you. Oh, what people you're doing. genuinely like it's it. So it's good. Yeah. It's really good. But it's just that's yeah. always, always. I've never had a bad experience. I've never had someone that doesn't like us. Ah, we had those people in the shed throwing ice at us. You'd, what? But I don't think what? they disliked us. They How were just happen? weird and nervous or something. I don't think they disliked us. It was just odd. No, whoa, 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 whoa. Is that what you would do to someone you like? Throw ice at them? Uh, so me, me, you Jacob. Put their pigtails I was going to say, I've not even heard this story. Like, come on. So me, Jacob, and our two girlfriends each. <laughs> 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 the sex of us were out. Players! <laughs> yeah. uh, we Continue. Were, we were in the shed, if you know, you know, a Glasgow nightclub. What and was? these two random guys just started throwing ice at us. And... They'd already been taking pictures of us without saying what yeah. I'd saw That's them the And you, you, your girlfriend battered them, didn't she? My the two of them did. Shout, <laughs> nah, my it's gar- two, I mean. <laughs> my two sat arm and arm just sitting there. <laughs> but me and Aaron aren't the girlfriends, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> we weren't even involved in this. It was yeah. just gonna- my girlfriend's shouting over at them. This. I'm thinking I'm going to have to take her out of this before it gets aye, hard to hold her back. Uh, it, that's, that's what she's... Aye. She's <laughs> a hot head. She, she does. She yeah, does have yeah, that yeah. hot So, head. yeah, to answer the question, I think we've been... I think we've done all right with it. That's smashing. That's yeah, yeah. Number eight. Uh, compared to us, we don't legislate yeah. for other people. Number right. eight. Number eight. This is from Doug Moore. Adam. This is a beezer. Maybe my favourite in the whole one. Would we do collaborations with the full pitch side? So 4v4? Of course we would. Of they course are duck meat. <laughs> <laughs> we, would, we would actually wipe the floor. We, de- we definitely would. We I have actually, would. they've grew on me. Oh, I like, I really like, like I've watched like Tom for years, and then obviously he did videos with us, which is brilliant. But I've started watching the pod, and it's good. We've had mm. Lewis on, and he comes across so much better, and not in person, I suppose, on Zoom. Than he does when he's been a stupid Newcastle fan. Like he's he's good nonsense. he's good he's good he's a good laugh. We've, yeah. had, we've done videos obviously with yeah. Tom and we've with obviously not done any with the other two. And they've we've obviously watched them for they've yeah. been about yeah. Yeah. Reeve, years. Reeve is very good. I've but, I've watched Reeve for as well for a long But their time. ball knowledge in the bin. <laughs> so how, how would you rank them in comparison? So to if us? you did an eight, yeah, Tom Tom's is Tom could carry them. Tom if you did, got a lot if you put all knowledge. eight of us, my order, I think don't say names, just say the group. All right, well, okay. I think you go pitch side, flat chat, flat chat, flat chat, pitch side, flat chat, pitch side, pitch side. I would agree with I that. I would agree with what you just yeah, said. I'm, yeah, I'm I would agree with yeah, that. And, and can we just name them now? <laughs> <laughs> nah, no, definitely not. I hope I said eight. <laughs> you did. I would agree with that. With you just yeah. we, get, we get the cameraman involved. Yeah. <laughs> no, but seriously, we are calling you out pitch side. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. It's, it's something for before. And Tom, before. Lewis, you get you get Reeve and Theo on there and we can start talking business. Getting put in a spliff. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so that's that's, that's that's a pretty good question. That's yeah. James, good James Rye? Done done I'm going to shout out this guy getting... Jeez, there you go, James. There you Number go. 10. Ja- nah, I was going to say. So, wait, Jacob Woods has said, uh, would you like to... I think this is would fight. you rather fight? Would you rather fight 10 duck-sized Aaron's or one Aaron-sized duck? I think... Will I go first or does someone else want to go first? I think you go first. I'm going to be honest. I would definitely just take on the wee ducks. I would kick them about. Easy. That look like Aaron's. Wee Aaron's are getting booted. <laughs> he, just to, he just wants to boot me. I'm, I do not want to fight a duck, a big duck. That a I duck hate. that's five foot four. No chance <laughs> I want to fight that. <laughs> I would love to batter Aaron. So see batter. <laughs> so see batting ten. That's yeah. even better. Yeah. I'm taking the ten. Oh, exactly. We Aaron's running about. Yeah. Oh. And the, the, the aim is him fighting you. You fighting him. So right. it's like a free. Pass. The question is how many heads can you get off? I'd like, love to just nuggie them all. <laughs> 
I'm Get picking that as well. Test up size Darren. I would like to just reassure everyone that me and Heggy are friends and <laughs> Did you not try and hit me once? <laughs> ah, you, you swapped that's, that's for the Aaron pod. Aaron pod. <laughs> we, 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 we saved that story. I was going to say, well, I don't feel like I'm qualified to answer that question because I'll be fighting myself essentially. Right, we'll turn it around to me. T- turn it into it's me. Ten duck sized calms or right. one calm sized duck. To be fair, you're a tall man, a six you foot one duck. Tall. So a six foot one duck. Uh, or yeah, it's or a, a duck it, that's towering over you. Or ten or ten. Yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be it's gonna be the ten. It's gonna be the ten. Ah, you gotta take the ten. That's the that's a ten's a lot though. That's a lot. How many duck sized calms would take Aaron? You gotta give me twenty. You think you need as many as twenty? <laughs> They're wee guys. I mean it is Aaron though, it's Aaron's a wee guy. <laughs> Come on from all angles. What do you so think? I think twenty is a nice shout. Yeah, well it is twenty, isn't it? So it's not ten, but it's not crazy, it's not fifty. I think right. thirty. Yeah. Probably I think I could comfortably beat 25 arms. Weapon or weaponless? Oh. Weaponless. Oh, you're fighting the everyone's AP. weaponless. You're fighting Honestly, weaponless. they're the right height for you for, to kick. They really are. Like, it's a couple yeah. of volleys, half volleys, you know. On the what bottom. is a half like, volley? Like, <laughs> no, I was going to say, I'm going to get out here before I am assaulted. By yeah, now. you're going to get volleys in a minute. Yeah, yeah just noogie on form. <laughs> number 11. So, number 11, this one is from Harvey Nish. What Harley shoes? Harley Nish. Harley Nish, I do apologise. What shoe size are you, boys? Oh, let's, 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 uh, Sorry, I know what you're really asking here. <laughs> exactly, we all know what uh, big feet, big shoes. Yeah, is that, that's exactly is that what size. Like what, what size are you? Seven. I think I'm a nine or nine and a half, either trainers or boots. Are you? I'm a nine. Ooh, really? Yeah. I'm an 11. Big feet. You know what they say about big feet, yeah. Smelly. B- big nice. shoes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so anyway, smelly there, feet. There you go. So that is our shoe size. Uh, okay, number 12, Finley O'Neill. Finley O'Neill, that sounds like a Celtic fan's name. It's a great name. You just get two questions here. Uh, firstly, how often do we go to games? How many so, games a year do you think you go to? Mine varies. I have kind of, just in the last few years, became a horrible, horrible big game guy. It's mainly because of I work on Saturdays and I play on Sundays, so I've not had a season ticket. So I've been to near enough every single Rangers European game. Mm. And then I've been to quite a few of the old firms over the last few years as well. Yeah. So it kind of makes me look bad. Uh, as for Everton, I've been to, I think, eight or nine. Yeah, fair enough. But I've been to way less than that. Yeah. Way less than that. I would say an um, average over a year between one and five games. Sometimes yeah. I've had slightly more than that. In fairness, your commute is London to get there. The team I support is in yeah. London. I've been to see Arsenal before times. To be fair, you times. had a season of watching Don the Bank this one. That's true. That's very true. Did you enjoy that? Yeah, it was totally obviously because I was on the bench. I was watching. Talk about huge football teams. <laughs> but no, uh, and then obviously I've seen Scotland when I can, but yeah, yeah. unfortunately work has stopped that. Yeah. My point. Fair enough. I've been. To, I go to every Scotland game. Yeah. Well, have done for. Yeah. Fifteen years now. So, I I go to most Scotland games unless I'm working, and I would say I go to Rangers like four or five times a year. Uh, mm. You don't quite go to everyone because you're working. It's yeah. My work is very sporadic when I need to work. Or sometimes mm. it yeah, changes that's the main thing, isn't it? Yeah. 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 And, so, my amount of games has gone up in recent years, thankfully. My job's a bit kind of more flexible mm. with us, mercifully. Shout out to them. Um, they'll get a free shout out on that one. They'll probably never listen to this. But I think... I see in terms of Celtic games, I get to a good 10, 15 a year. I think mm-hmm. that's most of the home games, other than obviously the Rangers ones and a couple of the European games. And in Scotland games, I've not been to as many as I would like, but I have been to one pending two coming up this year. Aaron gets my ticket basically when I can't go. Yeah, he's a good man, he's a good man, he's a good man. I, I want the points. <laughs> How long <laughs> you've given the England ticket? Crazy. I'd, well, be, just call, I'd be calling in sick. I could have gone. You're working as well. I know you're off. No, he just prefers Aaron. Well, I, you I, also did say before, well, you don't want to go yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fair enough. I want to adjust the I, I think there's like an anxiety if I can go to football yourself. I'd get it as well. Don't. I see there's actually <laughs> it's not a therapy one. session. I'd just rather yeah. go with my dad. There's another one there from Finlay. Of course. Which is actually just asking me, but I think we open that to all four of us. No, it's, no, oh, it's just oh, you. Oh, but no, we change it. But this open is about. Them. Oh, okay, yeah, 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 okay. okay. How can it be for me or Callum, though? Or for. We just, nah, I, I was going to say, well, nah, it, I, it can open it up to me. Just me then. It's just me. This is the last one for uh, Jacob. Liverpool or Celtic, if I had to pick one to support, it's unfortunately quite easy. Yeah. It's Liverpool. Yeah. I, I despise everything to do with Celtic. Players, coach, fans, stinking. It's, just the, it's the way it is. It's just like Aaron, he lost his legs instead of sporting Rangers. Yeah, yeah exactly. It. Yeah, I'm, um, I'm legless as it comes to Whereas I can, I can respect Liverpool, think they're a good side. Celtic are lucky, they're 
Shields, they're <laughs> horrible. Whereas Liverpool have got a few good players. They've got Robertson, who I like. But yeah. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> I was going to go through more. I was like, no, nah, I don't like Ben Doak. Ben Doak soon. Now that he's stepped up, leaving Celtic, guy. Fair, <laughs> fair enough. So we now know the answer to that question. Yeah, um, that was easy. That was nice and easy for Jacob. Uh, will we go through some more of the rather niche ones? On the, we've Is got there anything more. else we've got? Or uh, no, we'll have a look and see as well. We've got some a few kind of more basic football questions. One, uh, Ali Watson asks, "Who wins this season's Champions League?" Arsenal. Fair enough. Actually, uh, no, I don't. Bayern Munich. Bayern. I would love it. I prefer that shout. I mean, I don't uh, actually. But... I'm going Manchester City. I can't see past Man City to be fair. Uh, next one. Uh, next. Rapid fire. That rapid fire. Um, we've got a question from RMT7. What question? Who's getting relegated from the Prem this season and why is it Everton? <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's going to be Sheffield United, Luton Town and Ever. a toss up between Burnley and Bournemouth. I think it'll be Bournemouth. But they've... They, yeah. Nah, I'm going Burnley. I'm going the three up or the three down. I'm going Sheffield United, Luton and I'm going to have... I actually put you 10th as well in predictions which I thought was crazy at the time yeah it was crazy and I'm crazy enough to then change it we've not had an actual strike here for any games bar the most recent one my three's very easy Luton Town Sheffield United Everton Everton are not going down they have a striker now yeah and Beto looks they need more than that. Beto's nah, the don't. most scoring against Arsenal striker I think we've ever bought yeah I'm just hopeful though hopeful that you can go fair enough Sheffield uh, United Luton and Wolves that's the thing. I actually think those two are definite, especially Luton. Yeah, I don't think I I've had a team this early in the season where I've went that they're gone. I think yeah. Sheffield United are worse than Luton. Luton are at least a threat going forward. Archer's decent now. He's just joined yeah. Sheffield United. I like how Luton played two strikers, and I think that causes some teams. Oh, they played McBurney and Archer. Sheffield United do too. We've got a question from uh, Jacob Money One Hundred. Wonder who this could be. Is Heggy single? Just asking for a mate. <laughs> <laughs> question is not that is a good question I'm not single he's not single oh, he's exactly. happy to take it. Take it. no I'm just asking for a mate oh, all right. you. Oh, all right. <laughs> cheers fair enough they do, they do live together of course uh, Jack McCash ask favourite club in Glasgow not club as in football club night club oh, oh good question means. obviously it wasn't going to be football club oh. who knows what team we support uh, it's changed over the years oh, so many times used to be firewater didn't it? firewater was the goal it was bamboo yeah. was a good stage yeah, as well yeah. and probably shed the now Kokomo not in your never nah. been I only have went he's too steamy in there honestly you can't see yeah it's like, it's like a bamboo you've no <laughs> well there's something there's what? Something. not safe for podcast chat <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, there's a few bamboo qu- that's right there's <laughs> a few questions that are uh, not safe for uh, <laughs> chat that as well yeah, mine, mine's the shed now definitely yeah. it's yeah. It's probably only because you can walk home. Oh, yeah. that's <laughs> <what I mean. laughs> to, be fair, to be fair, Shed was very good. Probably the best I've been. Shed's the best one. But I, I, I used to love Jelly Baby, so if you're yeah. 24 and over, you know <laughs> what? Maybe 23, I don't think so actually. 24 and over, we'll know it. Jelly Baby was. Je- my best uh, nightclub nights for Jelly Baby. Cushion used to be quite good as well. Yeah. Back when it actually was Cushion. Was Before it someone got stabbed outside. Oh, right, yeah. Yeah. Good place. Speaking of which, the Palace. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, and finally, we'll, we'll wrap this up because we are getting on to about an hour here at the minute. Oh, wow. uh, Matt L say it last, the first football match you guys watched in person. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited for Can this I one. Can I quickly start something off that wound me up endlessly since I saw the tweet? Since uh, I saw Aaron get asked on Twitter, or someone just put on oh, Twitter, you're not, you're not like Aaron ask, answer. Oh, let him answer it because I will then be. Can really we start with Aaron. Are we go- no, we'll go for start with Heggy. No, start uh, with Aaron so well, I can then rage about it. No, no, no. We'll end with the rage. Okay. Yeah, yeah, you got to okay. the first football game I remember seeing. So it's not that, went to. It's just watched. That I vividly watched. remember that was in the telly, and I remember bits about the game was Greece and the Euros final in two thousand and four. Yep. The first game I went to was. Rangers AC Milan I believe and I don't remember it because I was yeah. too young fair enough uh, first I remember watching was France Italy penalty the game that went to penalties 06 final would the that have been final, yeah. so I would have been 8 years old and the first game I went to was I think a Rangers Legends match in 08 or it was Scotland v Northern Ireland which was 0-0 it was one of right. those Range- I didn't see a win for my team for like my first 5 games I went to it was really bad Bad jinx. Clearly, like Rangers drew with like Inverness and all sorts of homes. Horrible. <laughs> Great fun. Uh, for me, first game I went to, I think it would have been Scotland against Macedonia. I think I don't think they were North was Macedonia. Was that when uh, McFadden scored to make it two 0 Honestly, can't remember. Or was it more recent than that? I can't remember the game. I was no, it was would have been oh, way so back. It, it would have been McFadden times. Probably when we yeah. won two. It was like yeah, it was like back like 05, yeah. 06, that sort of time. Maybe even before that. I think it was the 08 qualifiers. Yeah. So yeah. And yeah. The, 07 then. Yeah. 
And Sorry for being a <laughs> Scottish nerd, man. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, this man knows the Scottish national team. And games I remember, I remember uh, Scotland playing the Netherlands and what, just watching that on the telly and me sat there. What game was that? What year was that? Oh, for? God, I, I couldn't remember. Really? Wait, so Two, that, I was guess, would that not have been 2004 with Bernie Votes? I, I yeah, so the, qualif- the Euros qualifier. You were yeah. about six. I was eight, I think, from my yeah, first game. Yeah. You said you were six. So, six. Aye, and that's only yeah. moments. The first game I really remember a lot happening was Liverpool, Bro- Milan. Mine was the World Cup. Mine was the Italy mine's France. Later than that. Mine's the Italy France World Cup final uh, for me. I was in holiday though and I'd remember. It, it mine's was Man U Chelsea. Final. No, yeah. that's not true. I've just lied to you. I actually remember <laughs> watching all the UEFA Cup. I remember where I was for the Fiorentina, definitely. I remember yeah. watching mm, that. That makes, sense, yeah. that makes uh, more sense. Aaron? Aaron <laughs> please tell us. Okay, so the first game I remember watching on the television was a game between Celtic Rangers, 27th of August 2006-2. Aaron was two and a half. He's lying. It is the biggest He's, two and a half. Road He's two of years and three months or something can, like can that. I, He's can, so wrong. Can I you do not remember something that's that long ago. Nonsense. I do remember. Joke. <laughs> I do remember that, Jacob. Because no, actually, no, I won't. I won't. I won't, I won't, law. I won't say the probable reason why because that might get a bit more personal. <laughs> so no, it's yeah, the dodgy stick. That's it. I, what dodgy stick back in 2000? Yeah, well, a yeah. dodgy box. Ah, uh, basically. If not- you, if you know you know about the dodgy boxes that got Sky Sports I, Aaron was picking up the remote putting on the channel Aye, you, were, you were two since you do not remember from I was the gonna, age I was, I was going to say if you ever met her you could ask my mum and she will back me up on that but how she she won't know it. It. she'll be a how can she remember what you remember she was at <laughs> least 16 like, I'm sure I watch games that I don't remember but I don't remember them because I didn't mention them Listen, there's no way you were two and, but you know why you've said it because the, what, what was it? Larson scored or was it Larson? It was the 6 2. Aye, the Celtic pumped Rangers. That's why you've said it. I was going to say. So, you, Heggie is Googling currently what age people start. I mean, he's, he's wording it in a I really weird way. How do you spell memories? Age <laughs> people start I-E-S. having memory. Aye. Memories, yeah, yeah. Age two and a half. <laughs> you weren't oh, even no. two and a half. Oh, no. I, I, was, I was actually two and a half. What was your birthday? It's it's my birthday August. in May, it's in August. So, so it's close enough. I have got really old memories from about that age. It was never football. It's, it's, it's just obviously because why have you googled it we should have just kept it We've now he's now kind of done so this they yet. can remember yeah. two year old can remember stuff from six months past it's now 20 years 23 years later it does not yeah. it's wrong you're back was, you pull me back, back in I was going to say you are just waffling that as well no, you're waffling waffling I was, waffling. Gonna, waffling. I, I, I was gonna say I know about that game I it's actually the game I remember genuinely watching. think this is the worst thing you've ever said whoa what, that's just, crazy. Because you, just because you, your team got beat 6-2 no because no, you've watched though. highlights of the game I and, haven't so you've never watched the highlights? I would say I've watched highlights before, but that wasn't the question. You said you've watched highlights, and I know exactly where that but it's going to go. Let me explain. <laughs> All right, let you cook. Go on. You've watched the highlights, yep, and you've misremembered, and you've been yeah, told yeah, you yeah. watched the game, and you've been told you watched. Because I get game. told I watched the wrong. No, game. I remember I agree watching that. the game. I was born in '98, and my what were you wearing when you were watching it? I was wearing Celtic the Celtic top. Top. I the same Celtic top for 25 years. <laughs> no, see, I, feel like, what he I feel like we're really running a Celtic top. It is absolute nonsense. You forget my uncle and mum were both Celtic fans, and they got me anything no. Celtic. No, I I'm wanted. not questioning that. I'm I questioning you remember what yeah, I remember the game. I don't disagree. Like I get put in front of the telly in the World Cup final in '98. Can I then say oh, I remember watching the game if I've no. seen the highlights? Exactly. No, you've literally not. just seen. You have literally just seen. You can remember things from the for age six of two. Months. Like I do. No, <laughs> just let me. Like, did you read it? I did read it. Two year olds remember things from the past six months. So, like, what happened when they were one and a half? Yeah. There you go. Basically, I remember watching the game, and then obviously, as I got older, I watched the highlights of the game, and then I remember. Watching I got that. that those memories, you forget them once you like. You then I forget them. Biggest. Nonsense. Ah, yeah, that is not the biggest load of nonsense. It is. That 100%. Get out. You're talking nonsense. Is anyway, wrap this up before someone punches you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get three punches in a minute. Anyway, it's no That's from me. <laughs> no, I'm going to <laughs> Try it. So, that was fun, boys. Oh, I'm sh- I'm, I'm beside, the shouting makes it sound like we were arguing, but it was a lot of fun. Uh, if you enjoyed this podcast, it's almost an hour long, guys. So you've, got a bit of a, you've got a bumper episode. Then, of course, leave <laughs> a, a like. Bumper. Uh, leave a like and, of course, follow us on Spotify. Do the gun fingers. Yeah, you you guys do that uh, pew, pew, pew. of course check out our YouTube where we've done videos playing Connect 4 me and Jacob of course Hege as our lovely quiz master Callum I wasn't did, there mate didn't know how it worked soon uh, <laughs> 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 oh, <mate. laughs> uh, oh, oh, saved it you yeah, yeah I saved you it did remember you did remember the game you did remember the game and on that we'll leave it there so if you've enjoyed take a like and as always take it easy